Yes. Hey. Okay, welcome everyone to a conversation that I've been looking forward to having all week. I am Art Miro, I'm the Director of Customer Training for Google Cloud, and my special guest is Miriam Luis. She is the digital experience uh, expert at Arvis Bank, and we are going to discuss how Arvis Bank drove digital transformation through Google Cloud upskilling. And I guess we are both learning professionals. Mm -hmm. I have here in my hand <laughs> the most challenging questions that you may ever face. Awesome. Are you I'm ready? ready. For, are you ready for these questions? Absolutely. We're going to talk about like I think Arvis is a great example of bringing your employees along on a digital journey. So I want to hear all about it. I'm going to. You ready for question one? Brace yourself. I hope so. Tell us about yourself. Oh, that's a tough question. Uh, well, I'm a native New Yorker, born and raised, currently living in Dallas, which has had triple degree heat, so I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I'm mom of two, and my son is in the front row, <laughs> who is studying to be a cloud developer, so I'm very, very proud of him. Nice, nice. All right, uh, quiz question on New York City. What three foods do you have the moment you go back to New York City? Oh, my son knows as well. The second we get off the plane, it's a dirty dog with everything on it, and which is so not the way I eat, but have to have it the second you get there. Uh, bagel from H&H &H Bagels, I love H&H &H Bagels. Uh, and then a slice of pizza, raised pizza, of course, the original over by NYU where I went to school. I am going to uh, New York City with my family in December, and I will try to convince them to do all of those things. At least, at except, least once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, except the hot dog. My wife will not partake ever of the hot dogs. I will have the hot dog, but my wife will just have the schmear ah, and the okay. pizza. Nice. All right, so are you ready to actually jump in? Like your first real question? Oh, those weren't the real ones? No, oh, okay. your first real question is, <laughs> tell us about what you do at Arvest. So I'm really lucky to be at Arvest. Um, probably should back up and talk a little bit about what Arvest Bank is. Because uh, I know after, before, uh, 10 months ago, I had not heard of Arvest. And so we are a privately held bank, about $26 billion in assets, uh, and presence in four states, Arkansas, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma. Okay, I got those right. I'm not uh, living in those areas, I had not heard of Arvest, um, but was super excited uh, when I met with their chief transformation officer. And she talked to me about not only uh, the transformation of the bank, but the fact that the bank was going to invest in their employees, who we call associates, um, and really look to upskill and reskill them as we went through this transformation. And when I heard that, it combined my background of user experience along with the fact that I'm a professor at Baylor University. And I was like, how combining experience and learning, that's the job for me. And that so I joined 10 months cool. ago. That's super cool. All right, well, let's talk about the transformation journey. Here is a quote from your CTOO, Laura Merling. Transformation, if done correctly, requires alignment across your entire business, including investment dollars, priorities, measurements and metrics, and a path to execution. So we're, let's talk about all of those things, because I think that's a, a great quote. And let's just start with, why did Arvis feel like it needed to go on a transformation journey? Well, Arvis is uh, just over 60 years old, um, and obviously had done very well for themselves, but you know, taking a look at the landscape, taking a look at uh, things happening as uh, other companies were moving to the cloud, they started, this was the time. This was the time to make that transformation, and Laura Merling joined to actually create uh, that transformation organization. Awesome, and apparently you're not alone because another slide from Gartner is 85% of enterprises will adopt a cloud-first strategy for 2020, by 2025. So let's talk about the role of skilling in the journey, and why don't you tell me, like, here's a multi-part question, like, what role did skilling play in the journey? Were employees excited about the journey? Were they reticent about the journey? Like, how did you bring them along? Sure. So it started before I actually joined. And so I think that that was really the interesting part for me to join 
once Laura had already made the investment and partnered with Google to really kind of bring this all, all this learning to the company. Because as you can imagine, a company that hadn't already moved to the cloud now had employees who needed to learn about it and had to be upskilled and reskilled. And so we partnered very closely with you all. We partnered with Fastlane to bring us some instructor-led training as well. And then we had our slalom partners that we joined with to help us develop a program we call Me at Our Best, which really outlined the customer, not the customer, the learner's journeys yep. that were associated with their roles that could really give them a North Star of what path they needed to follow in order to support the digital transformation of the bank. How did employees feel about going on that journey? Well, as you can imagine, change is always hard. Sure. And while it sounds exciting and transformation, you know, we're all here talking about transformation, sounds really, really uh, exciting in the beginning. Um, but the second you talk about we need to change process, we need to change organization, we need to change platforms, move data, migrate, all of that becomes a little uh, scary. And so uh, the whole learning process of that was to really kind of give them the transparency that we're going to give you the skills, we're gonna give you what it is that you need to understand your place in this new digital bank of the future. When I was reading about Arvis, it seemed like there were a lot of Arvis employees who have really been there for a long time, which is a great kind of tribute to who Arvis is because the employees want to stay and like, you got to bring them with you at that point, right? Like things are changing and you got to bring Absolutely. them along. My boss, who's somewhere out there, um, is one of them who's been with the company since the 80s. So you can imagine, but the tenure seems to be, double digit tenure there is super common. Folks have been there. Some folks have left and come back because they love the culture. Um, the mission talks about people helping people, finding financial solutions for life. And I just stopped at the people helping people. I was yeah. just, at, at that point, I'm like, okay, you had me. I'm a people person, so I'm just like, Really, instead of just kind of talking about the bottom line, it is all about people helping people. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. All right, so let's dive deeper into like Arvis's partnership with Google Cloud with regard to training. Like, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, they've been great partners. Um, when we started looking at the entire program, we realized folks need to learn in different ways. Uh, and one of the most obvious ways was online, right? Make it accessible, make it 24-7, whether you're home, you're on your treadmill, you know, make, making sure that all of that was accessible. But then we also partnered with our folks at Fastlane who help us uh, find the right instructors to have really uh, some live sessions so that folks can put aside time to really focus and kind of move them along the path in a much quicker fashion. On top of that, um, we also partner with uh, several of Google's vendors mm -hmm. to provide additional training as we start to sunset some of our old platforms and really bring on some new ones as well. So you were talking, you got multiple modalities. You've got online, you've got instructor-led, and, and you've got a branded program. Me at Arvest is a great like thing that people can really understand that it's all about the employee's experience. Yeah, we, I mean, we like to say it starts with me, right? And so if it starts with you, you know, you get to kind of see what your path is. You have to drive it. We bring you the content. We bring you that benefit. And I talk a lot about the fact that learning is a benefit. It's one of those things you can take advantage of it or not. We don't make our, our learning mandatory, but it's there for you. And if you think about what the cost is, I have two children uh, currently in college age, the cost of education, uh, you know, here we are offering it to our folks for free. On top of that, we have support from the top uh, that's allowing our employees to have up to eight hours a month uh, in driving that personal training. And we also cover all of the costs associated with any certification exams as well. From the Google side, one of the things that I really liked was that there was learning kind of structured into the plan when it, when it was launched. And so, you know, it was clear that, that Arvis was making the investment up front and had a plan to not only do the digital transformation but be, bring their employees along, which was super cool. Yeah. What about uh, challenges? What were the challenges that you faced along the way? Yeah, I think early on the challenges were, uh, you know, we started off with trying to create, to do an assessment, uh, and it was meant to really identify where the gaps were so we knew what to offer up. 
And that assessment can be kind of scary. You know, you have to think about the environment and you have to really be transparent with what the purpose of it is. Um, so it made a few of our employees a little bit nervous. Sure. Um, but I think uh, when we followed up with the actual program and we showed them how to connect those dots, then they understood why that assessment was necessary. Nice. Yep. Awesome. And one of the quote, one of the part of the quote from Laura was about, um, was about, whoops, was about measurement and metrics. Mm, yes. All right. So what are the measurement and metrics? What have you accomplished so far? You're still on the journey. I know. You're still on the journey, but how do you measure success? <laughs> So really interesting is I, you know, I've joined 10 months ago. So I've been very busy building up my team. My learning director just joined what, 120 days in, I think. <laughs> and so at the mid-year, we were really proud to start looking at some quantitative metrics. We look at the hours that folks are spending and it's been over 12,000 hours. You know, we uh, just deployed me at Arvis to 1,200 of our employees and to have over 12,000 hours in the first six months of the year, I'm excited to see what they'll do in the second six months. Um, we've also kind of looked at certifications that they've achieved and we're trying to get our arms around all of that data so that not only that, you know, we can recognize it and, and reward our employees, but also so they can see their own progress and they can see how close they're getting to this North Star. Nice. Yeah. Are they enjoying it? Are they having fun? Are they having as much fun as we're having? You know, so I always talk about having fun no matter where we are. And so we are trying to uh, kind of inject some of the fun into it. Um, we have some monthly chats where we have trivia and we kind of talk about the learning yeah. that's going on. And we do giveaways um, to really kind of encourage uh, the fact that these folks are progressing in their learning journeys. Um, we're also looking with Google to have a Cloud Hero Day, which is the whole gamification of some of this training. Yep. And so I know I'm looking forward to that. Nice. I can tell you were fun because you have Google branded fingernails. Um, yes, She's got, yes, just, just for the occasion. Yeah, I, got, I have Google shoes. But those are cool. Yeah, I need so to bring some of those. We're both, we both got our Google swag today. I really like the, yeah. the fingernails. All right, so future. What's the future plans for, for learning in Arvis? So Chris, are you on that? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So we do, we're looking at the next six to 18 months to really kind of understand not only the platforms that we're bringing in, but also the progress of our folks. Uh, one of the challenges that we do have is really providing learning at the right time. So, for example, if we are bringing on a new platform, you don't want to train somebody up front and then they're not going to use that platform for Timing months and months everything. later. Yeah. So we're working with all of our folks to understand their needs. We're also working to create some feedback loops, um, really understanding what challenges our folks are having. One of the things that we've heard from them again and again is making time. Um, and so what we do is we, go, we make sure we go back to our leadership and have their buy-in and make sure that they're talking about this to their folks and really encouraging uh, our associates to be following their, their own journeys. That's terrific. I love all of it. Yeah. I, I want to, for the people who are out there listening to this, they're probably on their own journeys. It's advice time. Like, what advice do you have for, for other companies who are going on a similar journey? I think the, the top one is you really need to start with your people. You really need to be measured you know, mentioning it to them, talking to them, getting their needs, understanding their pain points. You know, we're going through a lot of transformation and adding on some uh, additional learning can be a little daunting. Sure. And so we are trying to find every space possible um, to understand their fears, their needs, their pain points, and really kind of address those. I think that to me is the probably the top point. Uh, but second to that is making sure your leadership is tied in yeah. and really focused and that this becomes part of what they're talking to their folks about, whether it's on their one-on-ones, whether it's at their off-sites or their meetings. Uh, Laura Merling has monthly transformation talks and we're on there every other month to kind of remind folks, hey, we're here and we're providing uh, this training for you. So make sure you're taking advantage of it. What about giving the employees the space as well? Like, I hear a lot, you know, from, from customers who their employees say, okay, you want me to learn this stuff, but I don't have time. Yeah, yeah. So time is that biggest, I would say, pain point. We're trying to tie it in with some of the offsites that we're having. We're going to start implementing some learning days. Uh, in the first quarter of the year, we uh, had monthly um, 
ILT sessions, instructor-led training that folks could sign up for and they registered for it. And that really allowed them to block their calendar. And once they registered for it, they felt, okay, I have to attend this. And so we saw a lot of success with that in the first quarter. We're gonna implement more of that in the second half of this year. You said something to me before about your own uh, training for like Gmail training that you oh, took. Oh, yes, so that, that was really interesting. So we've also uh, started on the workspace and when I was looking at all of the reporting, it used to be that I, all of the top classes were all Google Cloud classes. And once we made that hard cut over to the workspace, the number one course was Gmail. And I'm like, why is everyone taking this course? And I actually stopped to take it and I, I learned a lot and one of the tips that we use for our folks is using that focus time feature where it kind of shuts off any chats, it kind of helps you to block off time on your calendar, and so we've shared that with our associates to kind of help them start to leverage some of the new tools that they have uh, at, the, at their disposal. I'm a huge fan of blocking calendar. Yes, like, yes. Just, <laughs> you just can't get stuff done unless you block off your calendar. Absolutely. Awesome, that's great. And, and I, love the, I love the journey. Uh, I really appreciate you sharing the journey, and uh, I think, Let's, let's, uh, do you want to take questions? Sure, and actually what I would love to hear too is, I, you know, I'm always looking to learn. So if you have some experiences that you're having either currently or some success that you've had, I would love if you guys would come up and share some of your own tips and ideas. Uh, before we do that though, can I make a shameless plug for training? Absolutely. Okay, shameless <laughs> plug for training. The, the upskill your, your employees, if you want to check out uh, Google Cloud's online training, go to cloud.google.com slash training slash for teams. Uh, and if you haven't yet gone downstairs to check out the Innovators Hive that's down there, you really should. There's drone simulations and a certification booth and there's badges, you can get badges and uh, stickers and you can collect all sorts of cool things for your for your lanyard, which I'm not wearing. Uh, <laughs> but go downstairs and check it out. The, there, there's it was really crowded today, but I think it's a really cool space. So there's my Absolutely. shameless training plug. Shameless training plug for Fastlane Training as well, one of our largest global training partners. We've been working with them for years, and they're a joy they're for us. They're pretty awesome. Work. So as I suspected, I mean, this was a great example of going on a transformation journey, bringing your people with you. I think it's really terrific the way Arvis has thought about the whole journey, the, the technical side and the people side, and congratulations to you on this journey. It's been super great learning about the, uh, the experience, and maybe at some point we can get a schmear together. Exactly, I hope so.